Howdy fellow thrill seekers, how you doing on this lovely Friday? You're running with the pack. This is your host Josh. We've got our first 2021 Series 1 tops break on the website. The link is up there, a couple rows up. We're going to be ripping into archives first, and then we might have some personals. Actually, before we rip into archives, we have a uh, giveaway for Derek from last night. So we're going to start off with that if Derek is with us, which I do see him here. What's up, Derek? So we're going to start off with that. Then we're going to do the archives, any personals and whatnot in that order. Let's do a quick house check here. House check. Need some extra paper first. All right, let's see who's up in the house and I'll figure that out in a moment. All right, Lawrence is up in the house. Welcome back, Lawrence. Randy, Derek, Thomas, what's up, buddy? Carlos is back. Good to see you, buddy. Joe is up in the house. Joe's on the line. Matt O is in the house. Good to see all you guys. So let me find some paper here, and then we're going to load up our wheel. All well, there it is. All right, let's get our wheel loaded up. Anybody that's new to the pack, I'll explain what this is all about in a moment here. Once I find a couple extra sheets of paper. Scratch paper is at a premium. Football breaks, we will check all the break levels. We will check our levels thoroughly after we load up our wheel, or while we're loading up our wheel, I can probably check it. All right, let's get this pulled up. So we can get started. All right, here's what we had on here last night. So we're going to clear it out and start over with a new list. If you guys want to start throwing out baseball names, we need two vintage and two modern baseball players. I think everybody in the stream tonight are veterans. So I will spare you the details on what the bounty wheel is, but raise your hand if you're new. What's up, Steven? Or new-ish, if you've not experienced... <laughs> All right, we got to put him on there. I don't think we, you probably don't know the story behind that, Jason. There's a funny story behind that. Uh, we'll put Domingo on here. And we'll put Nolan Ryan and Akino. If I can spell. Let's do Frank Thomas. Pull the f nice Frank Thomas. For Joe last night, Road Warrior, Frank Thomas. All right, that's good for baseball. Let's move on to foosball. Foosball, two by two. Two vintage, two modern. Okay, let's see what you guys got. Jerry Rice is a good one. We want to target somebody who's available in 1991 or 1990. Those are the football, delicious football products that we have at the moment. 
as much as I want to put uh, playoff master Tony Romo on there. From my Cowboys. LT is a good one. Uh, Michael Gallup from Modern. And we'll go with Juju. All right, same deal with uh, basketball. Two and two. Tony Romo, the playoff master. Only playoff master he's been doing is predicting the next play before it happened. I wonder why he couldn't do that when he was on the field, though. Actually, he was pretty good. He just choked in really important moments. What are you going to do? Iverson, let's go again. Let's target the same era, 1990, 1991. Stacy King works. Stacy King. Let's go with Ewing, and then we'll get... Let's get some non... We've, we've been using rookies a while. Let's get, maybe get one veteran. Uh, modern? We'll do one, we'll do jaw, and we'll put, let's put one veteran on here too. The ramps, okay. All right, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, looks good. Save it. And spin it. Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor is our first bounty. So we've got uh, 1991 upper deck that we've been breaking recently. We, how many stacks do we have left in this box? Give you guys a little strategery tip. We got two stacks left. We already ripped two, the first two stacks. We did not find a Brett Favre rookie card yet. So take that for what it's worth. Lawrence Taylor should be in that set, I believe. He played 91, if I'm not mistaken. We gotta take LT off the wheel and we're gonna jump right into archives number 10. Archives number 10 is coming up. Get our lists pulled up here. Yeah. All right, beautiful. And we're going to check our work like we always do. We should see at the top of the list, once I get it shared. We should see taking this home with three spots. At the top of the list is Megan. Thank you, Megan. Right there, there's the three spots. And then leading it off was Tim with one spot. There's Tim. Thank you, Megan, Tim, and everybody who got into this break. Appreciate you guys. And give me a thumbs up when you're ready to randomize. Everything looks good on screen. Archives number 10. Here's the link to the, I'll give you the link one more time to the divisional 2021 top series one. It's the first break. Do we have any thumbs up yet? Are we allowed to randomize? Can we get a thumbs up? Can I get a thumbs up? Somebody, anybody. 
There we go. Thank you, Michael. Welcome back to Thrill Pack Live, buddy. All right. 30 spots. Always randomized three times. We need Tim and three Megans on the top. Looks good. One, two, and thrice. Into there. Nationals, Dimebacks. One, two, and thrice. Over there we go. All right, now for the shareable sheet. Let's put it over here. Let's sort it by team. And here comes the link for you guys. Talk trades for about three minutes. Three minutes on the clock for trades. Matt, you got the Nationals. Mallory's got the Braves. Christian's got the White Sox. Just a few highlights. Oh, Matt's also got the Phillies. Oh, maybe another Riz Hoskins autograph. Habit Burger. I don't think I've had that. T Mall, make sure that you're uh, on live. Double check from your comments. It looks like you might be might be behind in the stream, possibly. Looks like you got about fifteen seconds left. Onion rings. Oh yeah. Nothing like a bloomin' onion. Those are the best onion rings. Flamin' Hot Funyuns is like my go-to snack right now. But don't worry guys, I eat them with chopsticks. Can't be having anything good on these digits. These fire pulling digits. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Let's check the spots. Which one are you waiting on, Nate? The Bowman... Bowman Chrome and Chronicles? Alright, so we got 13 left in Leaf Ultimate Draft. We've got 14 left in the Score Hobby Box. A lot of autographs in that break. We've got 21 spots left in the Hoops Premium. 
23 spots left in Bowman's best. Bowman draft is now filled. Thank you guys. Let's get the data moving on that. So Bowman draft will be happening tonight, possibly after some personals. I think there might be some personals in front of it. The Chronicles hobby mixer's got 27 spots left. We might need to push that along somehow. All right. What's the verdict on trades, guys? Anthony, welcome back, buddy. Thrill family is doing well. Thank you for asking. How about you? We can... Let me think about it. I got a couple of ideas. Uh, maybe we'll do a carrot to get to nine or something like that. See if we can get it down to put a dent in it first. All right, no trades it looks like. Is that correct? All right, so our, who's our bounty? Lawrence Taylor, Lawrence Taylor is our bounty. So we're gonna play the autograph guessing game at least once here. So we put a marker down in the chat. All right, so if you guys haven't played this before, pretty straightforward. We're trying to guess who the first autograph is going to be. Winner gets to spin the bounty prize wheel. If there's a tie, we'll break it by randomizing. Uh, you're going for the, f we're trying to guess the first autograph that we pull and we might play it again, depending on if we have a winner. So get your guesses in there, guys. Everybody can have one guess. If you, by accident or on purpose, uh, guess more than once, I will disregard everything after your first guess. And no trades, is that correct, guys? Charbroiled. Not like Burger King charbroiled, though. When Burger King says charbroiled, they mean burnt. It's like code for burnt. I had a Egg McMuffin today. Still solid. I don't like McDonald's, but I do like their breakfast. Not going to lie. I would be lying if I told you I didn't like their breakfasts. All right, we got Duke Snyder. Duke Snyder for the poster. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Steak bagel. Oh, man. I didn't even know about that. Oh, you know what? I did try the uh, spicy McNuggets. Those were pretty good, honestly. They're better than Wendy's. Still waiting on my chicken McNugget body pillow. <laughs> oh, man. It's like a $5,000 collectible. Some crazy amount. It's like one of those collaborations with the, that guy Travis Scott who does uh, sneaker collabs. Spicy Nug Nugs! Oh, I think that's the autograph right there, so we better hide it. Hide it! All right, guys, you got until we get to, I'm going to cut it right there. So once I get through this, we're going to cut off the guessing. Let's make sure our focus is correct.
Almost. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. One second, this feels like it's at a different distance. Hold on, this camera. 10, feels like, looks like it got moved down a little bit. All right, OCD, OCD was kicking in guys. It's still straight. There we go. All right, now we can focus. Raleigh Fingers, Diaz, Vladdy. Nice second year Vladdy right there. David Wright. We got an Adrian Marhone rookie, Mark Teixeira, Griffey, Paul Molitor. All right, so we're going to cut off the guessing here. Cutting off the guessing. So guesses for second auto are ending in seven seconds. Get your guesses in if you haven't already. Seven, six, five. We're trying to guess who the first autograph is going to be. Winner gets to, one winner gets to spin the bounty wheel. Ties broken by randomizing. Four, three, two, one. And we're about to find out who the first auto is. Who's it going to be? Ooh, Craig Biggio it is a gray. That's a nice little bonus right there. Craig Biggio, gray parallel for Jory. Congrats, Jory. That's a nice welcoming present back into the hobby. Ninety-nine. Only ninety-nine of those in existence. I really like the. Uh, the gray 74 Lubob that we pulled. That was a nice one. It's a nice Craig Biggio gray. Yeah, they're pretty hard to hard to find. I think we've seen I think it's the second one we've ever seen. Oh that oh yeah, the, I think the autograph is at the back here. El Mago, El Mago for John F. Okay, let's hope for, we're hoping for no umpires, please. No umpires. No umpires. Nice, Garrett Anderson, that's pretty solid. Garrett Anderson. On card autograph, of course. Beautiful condition. Let's make sure it stays that way. And let's check who the owner is. It is Nicholas H. Congrats, Nick. On the Garrett Anderson. Okay. Let's play. Did anybody get Garrett Anderson? That would have been a tough one. We're going to play again here. All right, get your guesses in. I will cut it off when I feel like the auto is coming soon. Steak bagel, man, I, did, I missed that. We got Italian tonight. We were treating ourselves. 
There's there's one really really good restaurant around here, and that's about it. And it's this Italian place. The carbonara is money. pull out of the second stack what's it gonna be AJ Puck rookie car there's a Lou Bob first Lou Bob for Christian Christian P congrats on the Lou Bob Steve Carlton, Nelson Cruz, Lee Mays, Sammy Hilliard, rookie card, Gratterall, Tony Gonzalez, color TV style, rookie card. It's a nice one right there. Polar Bear, Pete Alonzo. Polar Bear for Michael S. Nick Solak, our favorite troll. All right, let's end the guessing in seven seconds. Guesses for auto number two end in seven, six. Get your guess in if you haven't already. Five, four, Three, two, one. Football breaks. We're at 14 left on the score. Let me refresh it first before I go quoting things. 14 left on the score. 13 left on the... Oh, that's baseball. 19 left on the contenders. 14 and 19. Which one of which one of you guys do I want to be right? That is the question. T Mall, I'd like that one. I'd like that one. I'd like Randy's guess. I'd like Florence's guess. That'd be nice. We still have not seen a one. Have we seen a Juan Soto autograph? I don't think so. I think the coolest Juan Soto card we pulled was last night. I feel like I would have remembered if we had a Juan Soto. We fought an Acuna autograph. That was a purple parallel. Last night we pulled a Teal Velocity. First time we've seen that. An Optic Juan Soto. His rookie card has been highly volatile. It's back up uh, over 250 now. In a 10, of course. Interesting how it moves around so much when they're not even playing yet. All right. Who is it going to be? It is a light blue. I like that. Whew. Take a deep breath. Oh, it is Nick Solak. I told you he was a troll. I told you that. 
at least it is number dot twenty five though, and that's the first time we've ever seen light blue. Nick Solak, and at least it's a rookie card too. Who knows? Maybe he'll um, he'll break out. Twenty five for Tim W. Numbered out of twenty five. Oh wait, that's not an autograph. I just assumed it was an autograph, but it is still a numbered card, so that's a bonus. But our autograph guessing game is still in play. I just like my mind saw the color and I stopped looking for the autograph. See how the human brain can trick you like that? So that's that's good news because that means that means our boy Tim got a nice numbered out of twenty five hit. And we still have our second autograph in play. So, two numbered cards already. Craig Biggio. Maybe this is some sort of hot box. I don't know if Tops does it, but we got two nice numbered cards already. That's what sleep deprivation will do to you, Josh. Nico Horner rookie card for John. <laughs> yeah, I wondered what I was talking about too, man. Running low on the sleep today, boys. All rise, Aaron Judge. And, ooh, wow, that's a good one. CC Sabathier. It is a redemption autograph on the 1976 canvas in the Brewer's uniform. So that means Billy, you've got a CC autograph. That's a big one. CC. Kittle Marte and Eric Hosmer. Yeah, he did. He after the Yankees. I think it was after was it after the Yankees or before? I think it was after for a little while. I've seen him pitch a few times a few Yankees games. All right, maybe we're going to be due for That'd be really nice if we can get another numbered card. So we've already got two low numbers. I really want to see the light blue blue bob. Oh yeah, Cleveland as well. That's right. Oh, the Yankees was after the Brewers? Okay, I get those mixed up. Alright, Kevin Biggio. Jeter, Trout, and Otani. Is that John Lester? Yep, yeah, John Lester. Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux rookie card. Jordan Alvarez rookie card. So those are for Megan and Jory, respectively. Abraham Toro. Pedro. Duke Snyder, Andy Pettit, also a former Yankee. Who's the rookie I missed? Logan Allen, Seth Brown, 74 style rookie. Another Jordan Alvarez for Jory. Rookie card, of course. Corey Seager, we got the Sandman. Yeah, he's like the Sandman because he saves everybody. Will Clark, yes, Victor Robles. All right, so that's pretty good. Two colored parallels. Got a CC Redemption and this nice Craig Biggio Gray. All right, we're gonna check the personals before we do the Bowman draft.
Let's see what we got in the queue. All right, so last night we left off on $37.99. So we got Joe, Thomas, and Carlos in the queue. Let's check and see when the Bowman draft filled. Bowman draft filled 25 minutes ago, so... 723 my time so that's after all the personals all right so joe's up first oh we got to do derek's giveaway first derek's giveaway and then joe 3804 we're going to be opening some more of that fleer that i love All right, are you with us, Derek? This is from last night. You get to pick any one of these packs. This was our nightcap giveaway. So let me know about those. In the meantime, Joe, you can tell me which stack you want or do we have one left let's find out we got two choices yeah, let's orient this forward so we're on the same page left or right left or right See if Derek is in here. Oh, looks like he might have stepped away. All right, if you guys see Derek come back in, remind me. Left. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was the Yankees at first, too. Three, six, nine. All right, what we're really looking for here, uh, I mean, the Road Warriors was really nice, but ultimate pull would be the zone insert. Right, Joe? Yeah, they were very good last night. We were on fire. We were on fire with the numbered cards last night. We must have pulled like 10 numbered cards. Okay, we got a postseason glory, Randy Johnson, right off the bat. Postseason glory, Randy Dog. Put that in the corner to be sleeved. We've got a Cal Ripken checklist card. It's funny how the checklists are glossy in the regular cards or paper. Uh, I, I like the style of these cards, though, they're... They have a nice texture to them. Mark Witten. Who's hiding here? JT Snow and Terrell Wade.
Ken Hill. Is that Ken Allen Hill? Possibly. What do we got here? Hideo Nomo. The crazy wind up. Hideo Nomo smoking heat. Smoking. Easily, Kevin Brown. Bob Higginson. What do we got here? Marty Cordova, rookie sensation. The nice foil panel right there. Charlie O'Brien, Carlos Perez. Wonder what pitch he's throwing there. It's an interesting grip. Todd Green. Palm ball. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Golden Memories. Cal Ripken. Very nice. Golden Memories. The memories. Manny Ramirez is the check checklist card. Jose Vizcaino. Langston. Oh, I thought that was Derek Jeter for a second. Ruben Rivera prospect card. Ozzie Guillen. Is he still in the managerial game? Doug Drabeck. Andres Galarraga. That's a nice one. Andres Galarraga on the Rockies. Carlos Delgado. Darren Bragg. All right, we're looking for the zone card. Zone card. Where are you at? Oh, he does TV stuff. I remember he had quite a temper. Alex Ochoa. That's pretty good. Alex Ochoa prospect card. Kingery, Gonzo, I don't remember him on the Cubs, Gonzo on the Cubs, Sean Green, Sean Green is a very popular player, zone card, where you at, Ooh, I can smell the Italian, I smell Tuscany in my kitchen. I love... Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I'll tell you about the Olive Garden commercial in a minute. All right, who is it, Joe? Who's it going to be? What's your guess? Let's build up some suspense here. I think it's a zone card, man. I could be wrong. Maybe there's another shiny looking card. Oh, it's a zone card. It is a zone card, and it's Randy Dog. Wow. Monster insert card. Very tough to pull. Let's remind ourselves here. Put it in context. All that good stuff. 1 in 90. 1 in 90, you guys. So that's like 3 hobby boxes. That's like 3 hobby boxes to get this. what I'm talking about, Joe. That must be graded. Anything else would be uncivilized. Careful. That is a perfect foil, all foil card. One in ninety. That's right. And the back is even the back is perfect, Joe. That must be graded. You got the touch. Beautiful. Jason Giambi, Mike Mussina. I don't think we're going to be able to top that. Mickey Tettleton. Yeah, I was thinking one touch, but that might actually be better because when you get it graded, you just pull it out of the top loader and put it right into a um, do you have a card saver one put it right into a card saver one and you won't have to touch the card at all you know what I mean because I didn't touch the surface of it or at least I tried my hardest not to so I would honestly just take it out of top loader leave it in the penny sleeve put that directly in the um, card saver one and then you don't even have to touch the card at all. It's kind of funny. They call it a one touch, but it's like you have to touch it to put it in the one touch. I'm pretty sure, right? Unless I'm missing something. And then you have to like, if you want to get it graded, then you got to touch it again. So it's more like a two touch. But anyway, I like one touches too, though. And of course, I, I cut the corner of the penny sleeve before I slid it in there. So no corners. No corners were touched in the making of this monster hit. Oral Hershizer, postseason glory. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. David Justice. David Justice. Luis Ortiz. Cal Ripken. That's the cover photo of the box, and one pack left. One pack left. I think we already outdid ourselves. Let's see if we can get any icing on the cake. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought that was Derek Jeter. I saw Derek. Still a nice one, but not as crazy as I was thinking when I first saw it. Road Warriors. Another Road Warriors, man. You got some good luck. You beat the odds like five, four or five times on this product. Derek Bell, Road Warriors. Marquise Grissom. 
Ricky Henderson. Must have been stint number two on the A's. There is Glenn Allen Hill. I think that's a different player it was we saw earlier. Glenn Hill. All right, that was a success, if I don't mind saying so. If you don't mind me saying so. Is that how the phrase goes? I don't know. I'm not good with phrases. I, I mess up lyrics and phrases all the time. Like when I was a kid, you know the phrase, for all intents and purposes? I thought it was for all intensive purposes. What are you going to do? The zone! Monster. Thank you again, Joe. Let's get a cleanup going on here. Then we'll move on to our next personal. You made a mess, Joe. But I'm proud of you. I agree. That box is awesome. I'm telling you, those inserts from the 90s, they are going to pop. It's inevitable. Inevitable. All right. Thomas is at the plate. You ready, Thomas? You got a value pack of absolute. And Carlos is on deck. He's going after... Shrewdly going after the Brett Favre and the Bounty in one fell swoop. That's what I'm talking about, Carlos. That is a shrewd thrill. Absolute football. Boy, am I going to crush some Italian food tonight. So anyway, those uh, Olive Garden commercials are pretty funny where it's like the guy, he's like in... Um, he's like in the, they make it look like he's in Italy, you know, in, in some kitchen and he's like cutting onions and garlic and I'm like, come on, you're not cutting any of this stuff in Olive Garden. It's like, like a bag. I had this girlfriend a long time ago in high school. She worked in Olive Garden, went in the back. This is how most restaurants probably work, but it's just like a frozen bag. They put it in water and they heat it up. So yeah, there's not any like cutting of garlic and things like that. Like they're making the sauce from scratch. Come on now. Come on, man. All right, what are we hoping for here, Thomas? Give me something to think about. Give me something to manifest, buddy. All right, Herber. One Herber coming up. DJ Clark, Chris Carson, Sean Watson. Any rookie wide receiver. I agree with that, man. Frank Clark, where are you at this Super Bowl, buddy? Didn't do nothing. Actually, he might have had half of a sack, possibly. Last Super Bowl, he was a beast. Hollywood Brown, green. The Davious White, green. Is this an autograph? Ooh, what is this? Silver. 
It's like a silver foil Tommy Stevens quarterback from Mississippi State. Same college as Dak Prescott. I think. Derrick Henry with the lightning action in the background. Derrick Henry red zone. That's a very sharp card. Dante Culpepper flashback. Fantasy flashback. Derrick Brown. Here come the rookies. Quintez. Cephas. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. Rookie card. AJ Dillon. Jonathan Taylor. That's good. Jonathan Taylor. Come on, let's get a quarterback or a wide receiver. Jacob Eason and Yeter Gross Matos. We got Jonathan Taylor. I think he's going to be a stud. Who do you guys think Urban Meyer is going to pick? I think he's going Trevor Lawrence all day long. Jalen Hurts, I think they gave up on Carson Wentz, so that could be, that could have some upside. Jalen Hurts, I'm just going to sleeve up all these shiny cards. And we'll do the Hollywood Brown, too. Yep, I think Lawrence. I think that's right. All right, Carlos, are you ready? Start your engine. Carlos with 3817. We're going to be taking a trip back to 1991 to go after Brett Favre and Lawrence Taylor. And then after that, we will be doing Bowman Drafts. Then after that, Josh will be eating pasta. All right, you got, I think you got two choices, Carlos. Two choices, I believe. Oh, you want to move back? Okay. Very kind of you, sir. Very kind of you indeed. All right, so we're going to do the break. Give me a few minutes to get this prepped, guys. And that always works out in your benefit, right? Because anytime I ask you to wait, I give back. I give to the pack. Give back to the pack. So that's how we roll. All right, card pack. get in on the card pack giveaway should be relatively quick because I've already got the data here or I should at least all right so we're looking at 37 here Already halfway there.
This one is Bowman Draft. Bowman Draft with Bowman Chrome. Oh, by the way, Lawrence, did I get your question answered? The the the, the one that you emailed me. That's what you were asking, right? I checked it like super quick, so it's possible that I might have missed one. But I think I got them all. It's time to automate this, Matt. I don't know why I'm telling you about it. But I think I know, I think I have an idea of how I can automate this process. All right, we're almost there. A few more moments here. like I need a few more rows here. Hold on. Move my stuff at. There we are. Just talking to myself. Don't mind me. a trick. Make sure you get into the giveaway if you haven't already. Exclamation mark prize. We're going to be ending it in a few moments here because we are about 20 seconds away from being ready with this. Ready? Ready over here. Let's check our spots like we usually do. Again, this is for the Bowman draft. But you guys are gonna have to help me help me out with a little bit because there's a lot of prospects in there. Bowman draft and Bowman Chrome. One Bowman Chrome Mini, one Bowman draft jumba which i think is like the standard hobby box all right let's randomize first and then we'll pick our winner checking our work first we should have at the top of the list oops top of the list Curtis taking us home with two spots earlier tonight, just about an hour ago. Thank you, Curtis. And Warwick leading it off with one spot. Thank you, Warwick, Warwick, Curtis, and everybody who got into this break. Appreciate you guys. And if you can see the screen, give me a thumbs up, and we will get moving. If you're in the live stream but you're idle, now would be the time to activate yourself because we're going to be giving away a pack of your choice in a few moments. All right, we got thumbs up all around. We got 30 spots. We need a new list. We got a new list. All right, 
right, let's go into here, and we need a Warwick Curtis. Two Curtises and one Warwick. Looks good. One, two, three. There's Derek. Derek, you have a giveaway from last night. So if you want to pick one of those packs, we can, we'll do two of these back to back. I'll show the screen in a moment here. Okay, so that's three times randomized. Now for the teams, Nationals, Dimebacks, one, two, and three. There. All right, here comes the link. Those are the packs, Derek. Those are the packs to choose from, and then we'll put three minutes on the clock for trades. We're going to pick our second winner here. So this one for Derek is from last night. And Carlos moved back. Thank you again, Carlos. And we're doing giveaway number one for tonight as well. All right, so let's pick our winner here. Last chance to get in, guys. Exclamation mark prize in the chat if you haven't entered yet. You get to pick any one of these packs on the screen if you win. Five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Closing the entries. And the winner is Joe. Having himself a night. All right. So Derek and Joe, I need your choices. Please. More Stadium Club. If you guys both choose Stadium Club, that's fine. The tops are 88 and 90. 88 and 90. Derek's going for Stadium Club. Got about a minute left on the trades. Joe's going after 88, so we'll do Derek first, and then we'll look for a Tom Glavin rookie card. Let's get this over here in the corner. All right, good luck, Derek. Let's break this up first. I know that it looks painful, but it's actually it's actually the best way to do it. Oh, it's pretty good. Pretty good break there. Okay. Who's that? Tim Raines? Ooh. It's a nice photograph. Is he looking at the ball, though? Tim Ray he doesn't look like he's looking at the ball. Cover story, Butch Henry. Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh, amazing. What is this? Clear cut? Oh, my lord. You gotta be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We need to find some info on this real quick. What are we in? 95. Jeez. Um, let's check real quick. I think I can check really quickly. You guys know I'm a fiend for inserts. Nineteen ninety-five. I want to know what the odds on this are. That is an amazing card. It's a clear card. I don't know if you can tell, but it's clear. We're gonna appreciate this. So <clears throat> get comfortable. You know I like to appreciate things. Clear cut. One out of 24. One out of 24. And it is the best player you could hope for. Let's get him prepped up. Ready for his life transition. I think you picked the right pack, Derek. Let's make sure. Oh yeah, perfect separation. Tell me that's not a sweet card. Another card that must be graded. Oh man, it's so cool. I am very jealous of this card, Derek. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. Look at that! That is out of a giveaway pack, guys. That's the kind of stuff that happens around these parts. This is what happens when you run with the pack every Thursday and Friday. Derek's loyalty has been generously rewarded. That is perfect, Derek. You have to get that graded, man. I guess theoretically it's a little bit off center, so it probably won't get a 10, but man. Might even have to make you an offer for that. Whew! Beautiful card. Can't outdo that card. Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire. Let's not gloss over that. Mark McGuire. Perez. Pedro. And Mo Vaughn. Oh man, we got so lucky with the, the way that that card separated perfectly with no issues at all. <laughs> oh man. Amazing. Amazing hit, Derek. All right, here we go, Joe. Joe, we're looking for some Tom Glavins. Tom Glavins.
Joe wants a Don West. Kirby Puckett. Kirby Puckett. Looking for Tommy. Tommy boy. Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. Second year Bo Jackson, Joe. Second year Bo Jackson. That's no joke right there. One of these days I'll eat the gum. I'm trying to, I'm, I want to enjoy my Italian food tonight. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get another camera going and we'll, we'll do all kinds of silly stuff. Yep. Yeah, I think we need to throw this in the, the old top loader right away. One of these days they're going to do a documentary about Bo Jackson. His cards are massively undervalued. It's kind of crazy. Perfect centering on that. That is a keeper. All right, we ready for the break? That's about the longest I've ever taken with the two freebie packs, huh? But that's how we do it here at Thrill Pack. The love of the game. We, I have the love of the game clause. I get to slow down and appreciate every card at my own discretion. <laughs> All right, here we go. Did we have any trades? Can somebody confirm that? Trade windows elapsed, of course. Let me know about the trades, guys, while I grab the delicious products. We've got a Bowman Chrome and a Bowman Draft. Ooh, this is a heavy one. That is a substantial box right there. No trades. Thank you, Thomas. All right, so let's go after the Bowman Chrome first. Movies! We need more movies, guys. Who's got some movies? Fill me in on the movies. Whatever you do, don't watch the movie run. Terrible. It's like one of those thriller, like a... Uh, Hand That Rocks the Cradle type movies. Hand That Rocks the Cradle was pretty good, but... Alright, I'm going to do three packs at a time. The Last Detail. Is that, a, is that an oldie? little things remind me you you suggested that one earlier right remind me who was in that again I, that's pretty much what I remember like the actors and that I don't remember the names as much greater okay greater moonstruck oh is that the one with um, is that the musical one with Ryan Gosling or is that something else? 
All right, back to sports, guys. But keep keep throwing them movies at me, please. Nick Solak, Aquino. New picture here, relative to regular Bowman Aquino. Of course, Nick Solak leaded, led things off. Seth Brown out of 499. Seth Brown out of 499 for Curtis, and the Aquino goes to Curtis as well. And we got an orange, Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis rookie card in front of an orange, guys. Kyle Lewis rookie card for Ben B. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I almost watched that, John, and I was reading the review. Hopefully this is a bad review, meaning like an inaccurate review. And the guy was like, I think it was on IMDb. The guy was like, you have to be a really bad storyteller to cast Denzel and Jared Leto and make a boring movie. Is that a... Is that a misrepresentation i hope all right kyle lewis for ben b and the orange is eric pena it's an autograph numbered out of 25 Woo! the smoke continues eric pena for thomas thomas It was just one guy. I don't know, like, if you should put a lot of weight into it, but it was just one guy kind of trolling. Eric Pena, outfielder, prospect, orange, autograph, numbered out of 25. Whew. That is sharp. That is a sharp one. Where is uh where does this guy rank on a prospects list? Maybe I should get it in top loader right now. All right, I think we need a fifty. Good evening! What's up, Ernie? You just hit a nice card here for Thomas. I think Thomas knows the player much better than I do, so I'll let him fill you in on the deets. It's a, it's a big card. Where is he at? Is he, like, pretty high up on the prospect list? I had a... I mean, I knew without even knowing the player, I liked the card a lot, but... I'll be honest, I'm not super familiar with the player. So if this is a good prospect, this is a monster, dude. Dude! Dude. Alright. I'm just getting silly now. Fifth best prospect! Oh man. Maybe that should be in a maybe that should have went into a one touch. Okay. Champagne! Man, I'm jealous. I want to go to a baseball card show. $1,500? Are you for real? Oh my lord. Maybe Should we put it in a... Should we swap it out and put it in a top loader? I was very careful with it. The corner... I, I clipped the corner of the penny sleeve like I normally do, so no edges got touched. If I would have known that, that would have went straight into a uh, one touch. But I'll let you make the decision. I will have to touch it to put it into a one touch. If you want me to leave it in here, I'll put a piece of painter's tape on top so it doesn't move at all. It's up to you. That is, are you serious, 1500 That That even blew all my expectations out of the water. 
Let's check some some comps here real quick on the side. I can't even find it. There aren't even really any comps. Name your price type of situation. Oh, look at that. Lucky Nate. I want to go to the card show. Yep, pasta is called Belovich. Let me know what you decided, uh, Thomas, on transferring it. Jesus Lazardo, I can do a. Jesus Lazardo rookie card is for Curtis. I can do a very safe transplant. Josh Lowe. Or Lau, probably. Al Zale, rookie card. Cody Bellinger. Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. Also for Thomas. Stat tracker, Bobby Witt Jr. First time. Welcome to the pack, Tim. Let's make sure Tim feels nice and cozy this evening my friends get that warm and fuzzy feeling going it's what we like to go for here I don't see any comps on this Eric Pena oh I see a per I see a purple the purple out of 250 just sold for 200 so this is 10 times as scarce as that so I can see how you got to 1500 All right, you got to tell me what to do with that, buddy. I had a feeling that was a big card, but I, I'm not going to lie. I did not know it was that big. You That might have just eclipsed our record, right? I think, like, the we don't know about the Griffey for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's a $1,000 plus card. This might be a new record. Thomas is probably celebrating. Vented? Who said vented? Oh, vendors. Vendors, yeah. Adrenaline is flowing, Thomas. Bobby Witt is number seven. Jeez, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, man, I saw the purple was like 200, so it's got to be like close to 10 times that because it's 10 times as scarce. I mean, I don't think it works like that exactly, but ballpark wow there's a lot of cards here guys where did Thomas go come back Thomas oh it's safe in the meantime you let me know what you want to do with it there is a lot of cards here this is going to take a while All right. You guys got to help me out. Baseball prospects, I'm not an expert on them yet. Working on it. I know Robert Pawson. Robert Pawson for Curtis. Leave it in the top loader? Okay. Fifteen hundo. I know Spencer. The Tigers finally got a good prospect on their hands, or a really good prospect on their hands. I hope. Incarnacion 
is a light blue Encarnacion. It's not numbered. It's very sharp. Encarnacion is for Ryan. Ryan's back running with the pack. You must be psyched, Thomas. Nick Gonzalez, Glimpses of Greatness. That's a cool card. Is it numbered? All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna probably pick up the pace just a little bit because I'm. My mind is still in that Eric Pena. Every first Bowman Chrome should be sleeved. Okay. go back briefly then did I already put it aside oh yeah I put this I definitely was gonna sleeve the Spencer anyway did I miss any of these other ones oh, these are all first Bowman yeah these have these are very collectible right these first Bowman's all these there's a lot of them As a first Bowman Chrome. Another first Bowman Chrome. Bunch of them. Oh, every first Bowman Chrome. Yeah, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. All right, yep. I'm with you on that. Just give me a second to get caught up here. Let's take one more look at this stack. As you guys know, I don't look at the checklist really beforehand because I like to experience it for the first time. I think it makes it more genuine that way. All right, you guys stop me if I don't know a prospect, please. Spencer, another Spencer. So we got a chrome and a paper for Strat. Strat, are you with us? Jeter Downs, that sounds familiar. Miguel Amaya. Vukovic. Nick Sweeney. That's a first Bowman. Anthony Volpe, I know him. Anthony Volpe, Yankees prospects. More first Bowmans, Justin Foscu, Ben Hernandez, Thomas Sagasi, Cal Nicholas, JJ Goss, and we've got a gold numbered out of 50. We are crushing it with the numbered cards, guys. I wish they told you the, where the prospect ranked on the back. Some of, them, some of the, uh, like the Bowman Platinum, they do that. Kaden uh, Polkovic, 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 for Seattle, that's Ben B. I can't believe the Eric Meha broke the, I mean, I can believe it, but it's just crazy that that card is worth more than the Griffey autograph, which is numbered out of was numbered out of five. I have a feeling that card has got a lot more upside though. The Griffey. Bolkovic. Nice hit right there for Ben. Zach Veen. A lot of cards here, my friends. A lot of cards.
Tristan Lutz. Aaron Ashby. We got another numbered card. It is Alika Williams. Numbered out of 499. It's a light blue for the Rays who have a stacked farm system. Absolutely stacked. That's for Ryan. Ryan numbered out of 499. Another Spencer. Spencer Torkelson. For Strats. First Bowman. Austin Wells. Tristan Lutz. Carter Balmer. We got Nick Lofton and Ace Lacey. Franchise Futures. Kyle Nicholas. Liam Norris, Dominguez, Dominguez, Bowman Chrome. That one is for Mallory. Congrats, Mallory. Is a Vukovic, Brandon Poftat, Poft. I'm guessing it's just Poft. Ooh, what is this action? Looks like some kind of diamond, diamond in the rough. Sayani with a huge image of a diamond in the back in the back. It's called Applied Pressure. Applied Pressure Insert. Mike Sayani. I'm sleeving that right now just because I don't know how rare that insert is. And Dominguez in there too. Bobby Witt Jr. Glimpses of greatness. For Thomas. Thomas, you're on fire, buddy. CJ Abrams. All right, we're learning a lot here. Keep giving me some feedback on some of these players, guys. Let's get up to speed on these prospects. Asa Lacy. Ronaldo Hernandez. Nick Lofton is a first bowman. Tolentino. Trey Cruz. Riley Green. Miguel Amaya. And we got a Hudson Haskin. Numbered out of 150. Autograph. Blue Parallel. For Strats. Here we go. Where's this guy rank on the list? Hudson Haskin. Only 150 of those in existence. Let's just be safe and get it in a top loader right now. Absolutely, Thomas. Keep the feedback flowing. Franchise Futures, Baltimore Orioles. Because I, I really only have to learn this stuff once, and I won't forget it. Nick Lofton burned into my memory. Adley Rutschman. I know 
he's up there, I think. Number 14. Ernie says he got to watch Ace Lacey, Ace of Lacey in, oh, that's a great nickname, Ace Lacey, in Frisco. There's like, I think they realigned the minor league teams. There's 150 teams that were realigned. There's a lot of players in the minor leagues. Josh Young, there's so many numbered cards in here. We're making this a lot of fun. We got a purple. We got a Bobby Miller purple. Bobby Miller purple for the world champs. That's for Ryan. Top five. Very nice. Thomas, I think I think you should go buy a lottery ticket. You are you got some good luck tonight. Colt Keith, Logan Gilbert, Isaiah Green, Nick Gonzalez. gonna have to keep schooling me on the prospects Thomas keep schooling me I'm not shy to ask for learnings normally uh, Ryan Ryan schools me pretty well when Ryan's in here He's also very knowledgeable about the baseball prospects, as I can see Thomas is and many of you guys. Jason Dominguez. Tolentino. Nick Sweeney. Sweeney. Hassel. Aromo, Ramos. Brett Beatty. Adson Coffee. Tanner Burns and another numbered card for the Cubbies. We've got Jordan Nuogu. Numbered out of 150. It's a blue and it's going to Matt C. Matt C with the Jordan Nuogu numbered out of 150. There's Nick Lofton again. Nick Lofton. Nick Sweeney. Nick Gonzalez was the other Nick I was trying to remember. JJ Blade. Wow. I don't think I bought enough of this product. This, I was, uh, I did not realize there was this many cards in here. This many bangers. Jeremiah Jackson, there's a Robert Pawson, Robert Pawson, Chrome, Justin Foscu, Julio Rodriguez, sounds like. I don't know much about him, but he just sounds like a good baseball player. It's a good baseball name. Christian Robinson. Logan Gilbert. Isaiah Green. All right, we're down to four packs left. A lot of cards. Pack members, a lot of cards. And we're going to have more colors. Zach Britton. These are all first Bowmans in the middle here. And we got a Franchise Futures Pittsburgh Pirates card. Hunter Bishop.
Julio. Was that the guy I was talking about? Yeah, see? My instincts. Look at my instincts. Where'd he go? And these cards smell amazing. Reminds me of something. I don't know what, though. What did I do with Julio down by the schoolyard? There we go. Julio! What's up, Mallory? Thank you for schooling me on this, Thomas. I hope I'm not being too annoying. I can be kind of aggressive when I'm wanting to learn things. Cold Keith. Ace Lacey, a.k.a. Ace Lacey. Love that nickname. Kaden Polokovic. I already learned how to pronounce that one. CJ Abrams. Looks like he's like 16 in all of his pictures. <laughs> all right. Another color, Gerard Encarnacion. That's our second one. This one is a green out of 99. Second Encarnacion for Ryan. And this is a fire product. And another autograph right there. Autograph, Bryce Jarvis. First Bowman autograph. First Bowman Chrome Autograph Prospect Card, Bryce Jarvis for Warwick W. Good to see you, Mallory. How was work? We got one pack left after this. This was a marathon break. Another color? Wow. They just don't stop. Quinn, Quinn Cotton. This is different. This is a paper parallel. Usually the parallels are chrome parallels. This is a paper parallel. Numbered out of 150. Jarvis is number eight. Wow. Oh, man. How much value have we pulled out of here? <laughs> We've got to be, like, approaching, like, $2,500 in value. Not too busy. That can be good, I suppose, but you have something to do. Bryce Jarvis. Look at these monsters. Thomas with the jackpot tonight, guys. He might have just set a new record. Jason Dominguez. Bowman Chrome, another Dominguez. I think that's like number three now for Mallory. Mallory, you got the Yankees in this break. And I believe that's your third Dominguez. You also got a uh, Anthony Volpe Chrome. Max Meyer, Glimpses of Greatness. Sorry if I just spoiled it. I wasn't thinking about that. Maybe you want to experience it yourself. Glimpses of Greatness, Max Meyer. It's a very cool design. 
I should have said spoiler alert first. Mallory. Daniel Cabrera. Alex Santos. One pack left, guys. Jeter Downs. Top 50. Thomas is a human database, folks. Between you and Ryan, I think you guys got it all covered. All right, here we go. What are we going to pull out of the last pack? We got a possum. Hudson Haskin. I doubt we're going to top a $1,500 card, but Anthony Volp. Anthony Volp from Mallory. Polkovic. There we go. We're getting it pronounced right the first time. Thank you for bearing with me on this break, guys, while I learn some things. Another Polkovich. This one is a, I don't know, it's like a light blue color, but not numbered. Franchise Futures Rockies card. There's a Max Meyer. Max Meyer, he's up there, right? He's on the cover, so he's got to be a pretty highly ranked prospect. Grayson Rodriguez and Bobby Witt Jr. Paper. Let's get those last two sleeved and we'll sleeve up all those other ones the next before we handle them again. <laughs> Are you serious? 2500 So Thomas says we've pulled $2,500 to $3,000 in value. So that... That was an abnormal box. Is that safe to say, Thomas? That was a very lucky box. We should not expect this if we open another one of those boxes. Is that a true statement? That's crazy. Maybe it was some type of hot box. Do you know if there's a hot box? Started and ended with a boom. I'm glad you enjoyed it, buddy. Thank you for schooling me on that stuff. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I try to keep it as authentic as possible. And I think I think you guys like that. That's my guess. Yeah, maybe they have some type of hot box that we just experienced. That's what I'm wondering. Because we got at least five numbered numbered colors colored parallels two three four five six now I take that back we got six seven at least eight possibly more and of course that was the highlight of the break uh, Thomas, shoot me an email if when you have a chance. No rush at all, but shoot me an email, uh, thrillpackcards at gmail.com. Let's figure out what we want to do with insurance on this before you got time. This will this will go out as part of the shipment that goes out at the end of February. All right, so you got time, but let's decide how much insurance you want to buy for that. If you do, it's your option. Anybody have an estimate on that one, too? We might need to talk insurance on that one, too. I'm not sure. That was crazy. I think, like... I think I would be even more, like, astounded if I knew more about those prospects. But I'm, I'm pretty astounded not even being an expert on that stuff. All right, the Bowman draft break is going to go down probably as one of the craziest breaks we've ever seen. Definitely the most value that we've pulled out of a break. 
by far. Definitely set a record on that. Set a record on most valuable card. All kinds of records on that one. And Carlos, we're not done yet, guys. Jarvis is 100, 150. Okay. Once we get into the 500, 750 territory, that's when we start. I usually start proactively talking about insurance. Of course, if you guys want to insure any hits, you're welcome to, you know, just take the initiative and email me and tell me specifically which ones. Make sure you do it, like, with enough time before the, the uh, you know, the shipping round goes out. But generally, if I know it's like 500 plus, then I'm, I'll be asking you about it. All right, Carlos, you ready to go? Ready to hunt for some Brett Favre's? That was an amazing break, guys. And let's see what our nightcap is going to be tonight. I think this is going to be our nightcap, Carlos. So you're going to have all of my manifestation powers focused in on this stack so we can pull you a Favre and hopefully we can hit the bounty too. Thank you again for volunteering to move back, guys. Carlos was looking out for the best interest of the pack, so if you guys want to thank him too, I wouldn't complain. There are there are a few fifty to hundred dollar cards as well. Nice. All right, you got two choices, buddy. Yeah, we definitely did not acquire enough of that. But, I mean, I, I guess it's easy to say that in retrospect, right? Like we, like you were saying, that's probably like a one of a. Uh, one of a kind of experience. I have a feeling it was like some type of hot box. I don't know though. Top left. All right, let's put all of our attention into Carlos here. Make sure we got nine packs. Two, four. Six, eight, and nine. Remember the bounty triggers with LT. And if we get a Brett Favre rookie card, we're going to be very excited as well. at a time here. Ernest Biner. Kevin Martin. I do not remember Kevin Martin. Steve DeBerg, Anthony Carter, Andre Risen is a good one. Andre Risen. Eric Swan is our rookie. And LT, right? LT. Bounty has been triggered. Here comes the bounty in the chat. Get in on that. I'll give you guys about 20 seconds or so to get in on that.
exclamation mark prize if you want to get in. Winner gets to spin the bounty wheel. All right, let's do 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds, exclamation mark prize. If you want a chance of spinning the bounty wheel. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ending it out. This is giveaway number two on the night. And the winner is Stephen P. Stephen P with the win. You get to spin the bounty wheel, my friend. Let's get it opened up here first. And let me know when you're ready to spin. Steven is the winner. Steven P. Ernie's got a question. Let's hear it, Ernie. I think you might have asked a question earlier that I missed. Let me see. I have a question about top loader rookies. Uh, oh, those are just like different top loaders. They just print rookie card at the top. Um, that doesn't, that's just the top loader that you're talking about, right? That's not like a rare thing by any means. Those are just certain, you know, just like a normal top loader, but they just print rookie card on the top. I don't know. Some people like those. I don't really, I don't really use those, but you know, some people do use them just when they try to put all their rookies in there. All right, Steven, ready for the spin. What matters more is the card that's in the top loader. All right, $3 coming up for Steven, $3 shop credits. Then we're gonna spin the wheel again to find out who the new bounty is. Give me a few moments to create this for Steven. Okay, so we're on 212. 212. There's your code, Steven. Ryan likes the rookie top loaders. Yeah, I think it's I think it's like a personal preference. Like some people like them, some don't. It's not that I don't. It's not that I dislike them. I just kind of like the clean look more, and I feel like it can kind of distract from the card. But we're like really splitting hairs at this point. All right, so Steven's got his three dollar code done. Now we're going to set the new bounty. New 
New bounty is... Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan is the new bounty. And we're back to the break for Carlos. Back to the personal for Carlos. Steven's got his $3 credit. Check out the chat, Steven, for that one. All right, so we've got LT and Andre Ryzen so far. Ooh, we got a Barry Sanders back there. That's what I like to see. There we go. Aerial Threats, Montana, and Jerry Rice. Don't remember seeing this card. That's a cool one. Sort of like a quasi-insert card before they really started making inserts. I guess it's right around the time that they started doing inserts. Morton Anderson. Oh, that might be it. That's it! That is it! I saw the Falcon and I was like, that might be it. What did I tell you guys? First two didn't have it, and Carlos hit it on the third stack. Oh, wow. Perfectly centered. Perfectly centered. Nice, clean top loader. That's the Fabra. We are on fire. Oh, okay. You were probably you were wondering if, it, if that was the rookie card. Congrats. 94. I don't remember if that's Isaac. Does anybody remember Isaac Bruce rookie year or rookie card? Ryan, did you see the Bowman, uh, orange Bowman card that we pulled? You got to rewind it. I'm, I, I won't spoil it. I'll just tell I'll just leave it at that. Barry Sanders. 1994. Oh, you were typing the Isaac Bruce rookie here. Got it. So, yeah, that sounds like that is a rookie card, uh, Ernie. But the like the top loader itself, that's not it's not a uh, uncommon to see those with the rookie card at the top. And I would think about the card and the top loader as completely separate entities. What's going on with this pack? Yeah, I have the... Um, take a look at the top 100 MLB prospect and the minor league top 50. A lot of good info. Is that a website? I have the uh, 2020... I need to get the same book for 2021. But I have the 2020 Baseball Prospects book. It's like the Bible for like scout or I don't know if scouts Bible for scouts, but it's a very uh, well regarded book. Sort of like the pro football focus of baseball prospects.
Percy Snow, Michigan State alumni. So I need to I need to dive into that a little bit more. Aaron Wallace. What's our rookie? Rob Carpenter. That's solid. The one that you're talking about, Thomas? Broderick Thomas. Where did he go to college? Nebraska. The one that you're talking about? Ooh, nice. Emmett Smith. Second year Emmett Smith. That's a big card, too. Um, sorry, I keep repeating myself. The one that you're talking about, Thomas, is that a is that a website? Or oh, you're talking about the one that I have. Okay. Emmett Smith is a second year. Altoon. Calvin Williams, Randall McDaniel, he was a beast. Thurman Thomas. Thurman Thomas's rookie year was 89, so this is a third year. Thurman Thomas. Now, can we pull a second Brett Favre? That is the question. Fred Stokes. Oh yeah, the Montana. That's what we need. I want to say that's like technically a short print, but I'm not 100% on that. Daryl Green. Flipped around. Really make you flip around. Irvin Randall, Al Toon. Al Toon is a beast. So is Dave Craig. Wesley Carroll, Chris Dolman. A lot of good players in this pack. I think that's Joe Montana and uh, Dan Marino. No, that's Steve DeBerg and Dan Marino. Kevin Mack. Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin. That's a nice one. That's His rookie year was also 89, so that's also third year along with Thurman Thomas. Ariel Threats. Mark Clayton and Dan Marino. Making me work. Work for them hits. Otis Anderson, team MVP. Eric Metcalf. That's a good one, Eric Metcalf. Three packs left. Marion. Sammy Smith. Fred Young. There's Mr. Lott, Ronnie Lott. Vinny Testaverde. Two 
two packs left. Ronnie Lott the Maniac. Ooh, we got something. That's a Montaigne. That's not the one we're looking for, but it's still a Montaigne. This one up. These cards are cut perfectly. They will grade well. Marcus Allen. Brent Jones. Mike Singletary. Wow. Nice little stretch right there. Is Brent Brent Jones, is that the guy who did the Immaculate Reception? Or is that a different tight end? Yep, we almost had it. All right, we got one more chance. Dennis Bird. Charles Haley. Another home of Hall of Famer. I'm assuming he's a Hall of Famer. Bill Sims. <laughs> I was this close, man. And Wayne Haddix. All right, an epic night for the pack. Headlined by the Bowman Draft. We'll call it the Bonkers Break because it was just pulling, pulling valuable cards left and right out of that break. And congratulations one more time on the Brett Favre rookie card. Perfect centering on that. Another one to be graded. We got at least five five cards tonight that should be graded. Even pulled a sick Ken Griffey Jr. clear card out of a freebie pack. Very cool. Exciting night, guys. Thank you for running with the pack tonight. Make sure you tune in next week on Thursday. Of course, check the website on Monday. There'll be some reloads on there. We'll have a mixer up for 2021 Top Series 1. And we'll have the normal Thursday, Friday breaks, but we'll also have a few new mixers up there on Fridays or uh, Monday as well. So I hope to see you guys all back here next Thursday, running with the pack. Have a good weekend, guys. Congratulations, everybody, on the big hits tonight. Peace out, and I'll see you next Thursday.